Free, free Palestine! Please remember to like the video right now because the Israelis are messing with the YouTube algorithm to prevent you from getting this type of content. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And yes, you heard correct. British Metropolitan Officer is under investigation for what? For what you might ask? Well, for her support and solidarity for the Palestinians. Officer, come on! Come on, come on! Come on! So as you can see, the officer is actually trying so hard to not join, even though she's being encouraged by all of the protesters. Just in case anything happens here, that's why, why, why do you want to Listen, join us? if I wasn't in this uniform, I'd be where you And she explains her allegiance to the uniform and how she has a job to uphold and cannot join them in this protest. And she expresses her solidarity by saying, you're in my prayers. What a beautiful way to show solidarity with the Palestinian movement. How is this any different from when officers were given permission to kneel on a knee during the Black Lives Matter protest? And after all this was done, all she had to say was the following. Free, free the Metropolitan Police released a statement explaining how the police is encouraged to be kind to the civilians, but not to engage in their political affiliations. And because of that reason, this British police officer is now under investigation. But do you know what's not under investigation? This, this, or even this. Now it all makes sense as to why I go to a Black Lives Matter protest or a Palestinian protest and I don't see the officers being one with us, supporting our causes. How can they? I mean, literally their livelihood is in jeopardy if they decided to show support and solidarity with any one of our causes. Also guys, huge shout out to my partners Qur'anli for supporting this type of pro-Palestinian content. Download their app. The link is in the description. But perhaps this is our jihad. Perhaps this is our struggle to be willing to put our livelihood on the lines just to stand up and speak the truth. But we should never be afraid to lose our livelihood for speaking the truth because Allah is a razaq He is the one who provides for us. He has guaranteed our provision for us. Meanwhile, the shaitan scares us with the idea of us losing our property and terrifying us with the thought of poverty. But this makes me wonder how many other officers and people of the law would like to speak the truth, but they just can't do it because they're afraid of losing their jobs. So perhaps there's IDF members currently right now and law enforcement officers who are doing the wrong thing and they feel it in their hearts yet they're just so terrified to speak up against the tyranny. And of course, oppression exposes our Iman. It exposes our faith. Some people see oppression and the faith in their heart causes them to physically stop that oppression. Some people see oppression and aren't able to physically stop it, yet they say something and speak up against it because that's what their faith calls them to do. But amongst us, there's some people who see oppression and can't physically stop it, don't say anything about it, but they just regret it and hate it in their heart. And that's the lowest form of faith. So I wanna leave you with this question. What level is your faith on right now? Because this Palestine genocide is exposing it. So choose wisely. And until next time, I'm out.